Okay, this is a demonstration of a new uh, widget for the Nokia 5800 that allows you to connect to Twitter. So this is called Stu, and as you can see, it's right up here. And when you come up, the first thing it's going to ask is your Twitter credentials. So that I've entered in my username and password. I'm going to click Remember Me down here so that I don't have to do that again. And I'm going to click login. It's asking, and you can set the uh, connection permissions in the settings. So we're going to connect to Casa Guru, which is my Wi-Fi network. Um, it would also obviously work over cellular data. So it's loading all my information, and here's the main screen. You can see there's a big logout button up here at the top, followed by exit. Um, and you can type in what you're doing. It shows me my latest feed right here, as well as a big update button. I can see my friends and what they've tweeted recently. And then here's some fun settings. So let's see what kind of settings we can change. That's really it. You can determine uh, how often it refreshes. You can also toggle the Remember Me. You can um, determine whether your startup page is actually your posting status or a search box, which the search box could be handy. And then you can save. From the search box, we can type in a keyword. So we're going to type in Nokia and see who's talking about Nokia on Twitter. So it's actually pretty quick. Um, as you can see, it supports um, the avatars. You can scroll up through here. I'm not quite sure what this bottom bar is here. Um, hopefully that's something that might go away later. So that's all the people that are talking about Nokia. We can also go back to my update page. And it looks like it refreshes every time. So let's see if we can find out the different features of this. Um, here's one with a link. So if we click on this update, it doesn't look like we can do anything with it which is kind of sad. So there's no really way to respond to anybody. Um, you can't, in fact, there's no feedback on here when I click anything. So um, obviously this is definitely a first run. Um, hopefully in the future you'd be able to reply to somebody or retweet their message or even especially follow this TwitPic URL here. Um, there's no way to do it. So um, it's definitely a very crude um, application at this point, but again, it's a first run. It's a widget, so hopefully um, we'll see some updates in the future very, very soon. So thanks for watching.